Hi, my name is Terry Davis. I'm director of the library. Welcome to the library today. A lot of people still think of the library as being books, newspapers, magazines, that kind of thing, but we have so much more. We have games that are over here to my right. We have computers that people use. We have local history research. Uh, someone was talking to me earlier today about the notary services that we offer. Pretty much any time you come to the library, you can have something notarized, and we do not charge for that service. The library has been around in this community since the 1880s, and in this location, the library has been here since 1972. The expansion was put on in 2002, and that gave us some additional access, the drive through window, which has been very popular, and also the kids and teen areas, which are upstairs. We have books, of course, but we have large print books for people who may need that extra boost for their vision. We do home delivery services to people who are unable to get out of their homes for whatever reason. We do test proctoring. So many people study online these days and have to take tests, and we do that proctoring service for them. We check out Wi-Fi hotspots. We have laptops that people can use here in the library. We check out toolkits. We have the maker space where people can come in and make 3D prints, they can make banners and large format prints, they can do vinyl printing if they want signs on their business or car. If someone has a library card here, they can check in on one of our computers and use it for up to three hours if no one else is waiting for it. If they don't have a library card here, we have what we call rapid access computers. If they just want to check their email, print out flight tickets, whatever it is, they can do that without a library card. We do offer a variety of activities for kids. We have early education opportunities like little artists and little makers so they the kids get their hands on and actually learn from doing. We also have teen events, teen crafter noons for example, and then we have activities for adults. Uh, we have our lunch and learn programs which are very popular and are sponsored by our friends of the library organization. Not everybody can have everything, not every library can have everything, but it's the accessibility and ability to get information and resources from no matter where. Not everything is available online, certainly a lot is, but not everything is, so libraries fill that need in the community. We are a city department, so we serve Rapid City. We also have a contract with Pennington County, so anyone living within Pennington County can have a library card here as well, and there is no cost for those cards. If someone lives outside of the county, there is a non-resident fee. The library is on Quincy Street uh, near the downtown area, and we don't right now have any branches, but what we do have in the works is a bookmobile. And our bookmobile is currently in production. It's being built. Right now it's in Tennessee, so it's going to be a well-traveled bookmobile. Uh, but we expect to launch that service early in the next year, probably early March around that time frame.